be 200 years old. But stars and skies have made humanity wonder since time immemorial. It's not surprising that for scientific community too, stars and skies offer an unusual laboratory. Indian scientist S. Chandrasekhar also got captivated with the mysteries of stars. And that ultimately made him become a permanent star on the horizons of astrophysics. Modern science has witnessed many outstanding scientists who revolutionized the human understanding of nature. Chandrasekhar surely is one of the foremost among them. With his prolific contributions to wide-ranging fields in physics, astrophysics and applied mathematics, he became a legendary figure. He has undoubtedly left behind a rich legacy of scientific accomplishments. Chandra lived on Earth and worked in space. Now before moving to his scientific achievements, here are the glimpses of his early life. He was born into a Tamil-speaking family in Lahore in 1910. His father was a civil servant with Indian Railways. Mother Sita Lakshmi too was an outstanding lady. One can imagine, with only a few years of her formal education, she translated Ibsen's Dollhouse and Tolstoy's War and Peace into Tamil, which are still very popular. As it is said, mothers are the first teachers. Chandrasekhar's education began at home with his mother Sita Lakshmi giving instructions in Tamil, while his father C.S. Iyer taught him English and arithmetic. In 1918, family moved to Madras, now Chennai. Here, Chandrasekhar attended the Hindu high school in Triplicane during the years 1922 to 1925. For his bachelor's degree, he joined Presidency College in 1925. Here, he studied physics, arithmetic, chemistry, Sanskrit and English. From his early age, he had a liking for physics and mathematics. He also enjoyed English literature. In fact, his fascination with English literature contributed to his own lucid and impeccable writing style. Chandra was inspired by the mathematical accomplishments of great Indian mathematician S. Ramanujan even before the college days. Chandra was more inclined to take mathematics honors. However, his father wanted him to become a civil servant and thought mathematics may not be a good option for that. Mother Sita Lakshmi supported Chandrasekhar for she believed that one does best what one really likes to do. Ultimately, Chandra followed his father's desires and opted for physics. His father was more than happy as Chandrasekhar's paternal uncle, the Nobel laureate Sir C. V. Raman, was definitely a great example to emulate. Here on, Chandrasekhar launched himself into an intensive study of the quantum mechanics and statistics and wrote his first professional research paper, The Compton Scattering and the New Statistics. It was the year 1930. In final examinations at Presidency College, Chandrasekhar scored all-time high and Government of India offered him a special scholarship to pursue study and research in England for three years. On the ship, he used to spend his time on shipboard, 
working out the statistical mechanics of the degenerate electron in white dwarf stars, which later came to be known as the Chandrasekhar limit. That time, Chandra was just 19 years old when he made this discovery, for which he was later awarded the Nobel Prize. In 1995, Chandrasekhar's death brought an end to an unforgettable era and that's the reason he continues to inspire the scientific minds even today. And what a tribute to this. His ashes were sprinkled all over the Chicago University campus.